Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on powers and exponent rules, part one. Next week we'll learn some more powers and exponents rules, um, but we're going to talk about four this week and four in this video today. Um, before we get dive into those rules, just the idea and some vocabulary around powers and exponents. So a power, that is this whole term here, this we have six to the power four. We call four the exponent. 6 is the base, right, um, and then you can call that entire expression 6 to the power of 4 the power. Um, and as we've learned, 6 to the power of 4 means that we have our base 6 and we multiply 6 4 times. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. That is equivalent to 6 to the power of 4. So that's the basic idea of powers and exponents. Um, but sometimes we we're not just going to have one power, we want to multiply powers or divide powers. So that's what we're going to look at today. Okay, all right, so the first one we're going to look at is multiplying powers. And there's a property called the product of powers property. This looks like when we have the same base, but different exponents. The rule is when the bases are the same and we're multiplying, we can add the exponents. Okay, so we can see that in the example, and what's really going to um, explain the rule is we're going to look at it in expanded form. Okay, so here I have 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 5. Okay, so let me write that out. 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 5. And then our repeated expanded multiplication form, 2 to the power of 6 means I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 2. So I have 2 6 times multiplied by itself 6 times. Okay, and then I have 2 to the power of 5, so that's 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. All right, so that's my expanded form here. And now I want to write my simplified power. So how many 2s, really what I'm asking myself here is, how many 2s are being multiplied by itself? Right, how many 2s are there that we're multiplying? So we could just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 2 to the 11. Okay, but the faster way of doing that versus writing it all out, even though we are going to do that for a while to get better at this and to understand where the rule is coming from, is we add the exponents and keep the base. So we keep the base of 2, we add the exponents of 6 plus 5 and 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So we have that the simplified form here is 6 is 2 to the power of 11. Um, and if we wanted to, we could find the value of that by just multiplying our expanded form. 2 times 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 2. Or we could type in a calculator 2 to the 11th power, and it would tell us that as well. Awesome. OK, so now I want you to try. First, you're going to identify what is the correct expanded form, um, repeated multiplication for 9 to the 9th power times 9 to the 1st power. Okay, So first have the expanded form, and then using our rule or the expanded form, find um, the simplified form for that expression. Awesome. So for our expanded form, 9 to the 9th power is 9 nines multiplied together, and then 9 to the 1st power is just 9. Right, we just have one nine. So we know that one is pretty special in math, right? When we have like one times x, it's just x. We have a similar situation going here. Nine to the first power is just one nine. Okay, we're just multiplying nine once. So then our simplified form, nine to the power of nine times nine to the first power equals nine to the nine plus one power, which is nine to the tenth power. Okay? 9 to the power of 10, and if we wanted to count, we would see that there are 10 nines here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that are being multiplied. So in summary, when we're multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponents to keep the base. All right, what about when we're dividing powers? So this is a very similar situation. When we're dividing powers with the same base, we just subtract the exponents. So let's see why this makes sense. Here we have... 7 to the power of 8 divided by 7 to the power of 2. This is also read as 7 squared. 
So 7 to the power of 8 is 7 times 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 7. Uh, yeah, that's right. I decided to write my last 7 differently. Fascinating. Okay, we have 8 7s divided by 7 times 7. If we have 7 in our numerator, 7 in the denominator, we just do 7 divided by 7, which is 1, right? So then these 7s cancel away. And then I can do that one more time. I have a 7 in the numerator, a 7 in the denominator. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so that cancels away. And I'm left with 6 7s. Thus, I'm going to get 7 to the power of 6 as my simplified form. And we can see here 7 to the power of 8 divided by 7 to the power of 2. That's equal, according to our rule, as 7 to the power of 8 minus 2, which is 6. Awesome. All right, you try it. Going to tell me what it is in the expanded form and then our simplified form. For 7 to the power of 9 divided by 7 to the power of 6. Awesome. And you should have gotten 7 to the power of 3. Again, because we are subtracting 9 minus 6, subtracting the exponents, the 7s in the numerator and the denominator cancel away to 1. Um, so we're just with, left with 3 7s that we're multiplying. Awesome. Okay, so that's the division rule. Both of these past two rules apply when we have the same base, right? We had 7s as the bases for all of these. All right, now let's look at one where instead of having the same base, we have different bases, but we have the same exponents. Okay, so here we have 5 to the power of 7 times 8 to the power of 7. So as before, I'm going to write that out. So now that I've written it out, this isn't necessarily helpful as it's written for how I can simplify this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the commutative property of multiplication, which says I can switch the order around and the value doesn't change. So I'm going to put the 5 times 8 together, and kind of the associative property of with grouping, 5 times 8, 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 okay? So I have, just so you can see clearly what I did here, I had 5, 8, put them together, 5, 8, put it together, 5, 8, put it together, that's 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, put it together, 5, 8, put it together, 5, 8, put it together, and 5, 8, okay? So I'm left with 5 times 8, 7 times. Okay, well, what's 5 times 8? 40, right? So I have 5 times 8, 7 times, so that's 40. I just have 40 multiplied by itself for, um, seven times. Okay, so that is this rule that we're seeing when we have the different bases, but we have the same exponent. We can just multiply the bases together and keep the exponent. So five times eight is 40. We have seven copies of those. So we have 40 to the power of seven. All right, so give that a try for four to the power of three times six to the power of three. First identify our expanded form use the commutative and associative property to rearrange, um, and then tell me what the simplified form is. Awesome, and you should have gotten 24 to the power of three. Um, like the rule says, we're gonna keep the exponent the same, keep the exponent of three, and we multiply the bases, four times six is 24. And we can see in the expanded form why that rule makes sense. All right, and we have one last rule called the power of a power property. So in this case, we see our example, we have seven to the power of four, that's a power. And then we like raise it to this, to another exponent, raise it to another power. In this situation, the rule is gonna be that we just keep the base and we multiply the exponents. Um, so let's see how that works out here. So it's a little bit hard to write. It's very long to write this entire thing out in, in um, expanded form, but I'll give you a sense of it. So seven to the power of four to the power of eight means I have seven to the power of four times 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 seven to
times 7 to the power 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times 7 to the power 4. Okay, so I have 8 7 to the power 4s being multiplied together. If I really wanted to, I could expand it out entirely, right? Each of these 7 to the power of 4s is made up of 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Okay, so I would have 4 7s, 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 4 7s. Thus, in total, I have 7 to the power of 32 here. I'm going to have 32 7s total that are being multiplied, um, right, because I have 4 7s 8 times. So 4 times 8 is 32, and I get 7 to the power of 32. Those ones are often pretty long to write out, but hopefully we can see how right, this concept expands for each of them. Awesome. Um, so you can try that. We have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of five. So write out like our half expanded form like I did, and then our final simplified form. Great, and we should have gotten two to the power of 20. Awesome, all right, those are our four exponent powers for the week. We'll learn a few more next week, and then that's all it is. Great job, everyone.